What's going on, you guys? The Demi God back on Demi God and Teen Down bring you another movie review. So, I actually just got out of theaters from witnessing Venom Let There Be Carnage. I mean, I literally just drove home, just got to witness it on the big screen in a pretty big theater room, also. That bitch was sold out. Let me tell you, every seat was pretty much filled up, except for like obviously the seats in the front and then maybe one or two, you know, in between people. But other than that, it was pretty much a sold out crowd, sold out audience, which is normally how I like my movie premiere showings to go. And with that being said, man, let's just go ahead and jump directly into this non spoiler review for Venom let there be carnage for venom 2 so first things first man i'm going to go ahead and say this i thought this movie was pretty mediocre very similar to the first movie this movie is in fact extremely similar to the first movie in its tone and everything it goes perfectly if you're gonna watch them back to back the films go perfectly together i will say that however i was not a big fan of the first venom which is where my problems arise i felt the first venom was rushed I felt that it was a bit like slapstick comedy, uh, a lot of jokes just thrown at the screen, a ton of them that don't work. Again, as I say all these things, I am basically saying the same thing for Venom 2. I feel all of these things with Venom 2. In fact, this film right here felt even more like a slapstick comedy. Uh, they throw about a million jokes into this movie, very similar to Venom 1, again. And uh, in fact, I feel like they even go further with it in Venom 1 now. This movie right here is at an hour and a half mark, which means there's not much time to really establish our characters here, really give us everything that we need because mind you, that hour and a half, uh, maybe 15 minutes of it is filled up with credits, right? So an hour and 15 minute film, an hour and 20 minute film, right? Uh, just not enough time to establish the characters. Obviously this is a sequel. They establish a lot of these characters in the first movie, which is why this film works as much as it does. Um, again, guys, I don't know. It's just something about these Venom movies. Again, I feel like if I was a Venom fanboy, or let me not use that word, if I was a Venom fan and I went out to see these movies, I would feel pretty disappointed. I mean, that's like if I went out to see Joker 2019, there's my poster right there, Joker 2019. My favorite DC character, my favorite villain, uh, one of my top three characters in comic books in general. And that, like I was going with this thought here, that's like if I went out to see 2019's Joker and it was just this mediocre mess and I was just happy with what I got. Like I was saying, if I was a Venom fan, I would not be too happy with what I am getting here. I feel like the quality level for these films is not hitting exactly where it needs to be hitting now let's just go ahead and discuss a few more things here um of course in this film let there be carnage venom let there be carnage the whole plot of this film is let's just go ahead and talk about the plot now of course tom hardy is eddie brock now i actually am a tom hardy fan i love what he did with the bane character i love what he's done in other films since then and even before then and again the cast here is really solid i mean tom hardy as eddie brock of course cletus cassidy played by woody harrelson and both those men right there should hold up this film pretty well uh there's a lot of talent in here a lot of talent these two men are great in other films outside of here uh they do what they can in this movie to make it you know to bring it up a level bring it up a few notches with their performances i felt like woody harrelson's character was not given enough to do inside of this film this script really did not serve him justice as much as it could have because like i keep saying he is a true talent in Hollywood and there could have been much more done with this character uh, Cletus Cassidy that is the serial killer of course and now I'm just gonna keep it to those two actors they all do an okay job outside of Eddie Brock's ex-wife I guess it is she does a pretty solid job along with the main two actors here our protagonist and our antagonist now with that being said let's also speak on the characters of Venom and Carnage because of course both of these men are pretty much two beings sharing one body right one vessel with the symbiote so that being said i felt like venom and carnage were solid inside of this movie uh i like i man it, in fact i love carnage in this movie they did carnage fantastic let me just say that right now carnage was fantastic inside of this movie when they first introduce him first put him on screen they give you that close-up look of him and man the cgi on his character is just brilliant i mean it really is the animation for carnage is brilliant uh, a lot of his scenes are really great and i feel very similar with the venom character except for the fact that i liked carnage much more than i liked venom inside of this film for 
however long he was in this film. And with that being said, I feel like these characters were not done enough justice. And that is my real problem with this movie is we have great comic book characters inside of this film. We have great actors inside of this film, great talents. We even got Andy Serkis uh, directing this movie. He's a good talent in Hollywood. And I feel like they're just missing the mark, not hitting the mark. I feel like these movies have been rushed. Like the script hasn't been all the way there. Again, everything is in order. I mean, they have the budget. This is backed by Sony. This is a Sony project. They have everything they need, everything in order to put out a quality film and I feel like it's not hitting the level of quality that these films need to be hitting, which doesn't make sense except for the fact that the script is just not as well written as it needs to be. So again, going over my negatives with this film, it feels like a slapstick comedy. It is a bit rushed. Again, I had a problem with the location it's set in San Francisco, um, a very beautiful place uh, depending where you are inside the city. Uh, I've been to San Francisco a ridiculous amount of times i live not too far from san francisco so that being said i feel like they didn't do the city justice uh for example in shang chi and the legend of the ten rings a film that just came out a few months ago go check out my movie review for shang chi right here go see what i had to say there i felt like in that film man they really represented san francisco very well they did it justice they showed how beautiful the city could be they showed it in these beautiful colorations and sunlight shots and of course the san francisco bridge now in venom this is a more darker tone movie so everything is mostly done at night all the shots are much darker however it could still be done you know more justice than it is done inside of these films i mean it's takes place in san francisco uh of course they give us shots of the bridge and things like that however they do nothing unique with it they do nothing special with it uh it just feels again this is my main word for this entire review this is the word that i want to leave with you mediocre it just feels mediocre and it pains me to say that i was very hyped to go watch this movie i love the trailers um uh, i thought the trailers were fantastic actually um I was much hyped for this movie, much more than I was for the first movie, and I didn't even like the first movie. So think about how well the trailers had to be. If I would, if I thought the first movie was mediocre, yet I was still hyped to go watch the second movie. Think about how good the trailers must have been. They were solid, man. They were. Um, the promotion material was great. However, the film itself mediocre, uh, and that's it. There's the review right there. Let's just go ahead and give my official score. I always give a rating in these videos out of ten. I'm gonna go ahead and give you my official rating for Venom, Let There Be Carnage, for Venom 2. I rate this film a 6.5 out of 10. There it is up on screen, 6.5 out of 10. I feel like it misses the mark, it's mediocre. I wouldn't wanna go back to the theater to watch it again. I would recommend that you do not rush out to the theater to witness this film. Uh, you could just wait to see it at home. You could rent it, or you could just go a few weeks later. Like, There's no reason to be, oh my God, I need my ticket. I need to see this in the premiere. I need to see this day one, like I do with all my films i like to watch uh like i did with this movie for example and there it is man also i would like to say make sure you stay for the post credit scene and that's again another negative we could add on to this film i felt like the post credit scene was the best part of this movie now when your post credit scene has me more hyped than anything i witnessed in your film that is a problem man that is a huge problem something is not right here now i am not a script writer or a filmmaker maybe i will be one day but i'm not that quite yet so i can't tell you you know everything you could have done to make this much better however i could definitely tell you what you did wrong and there it is man there you have it post credit scene was fantastic make sure you stay for the post credit scene that was a hell of a post credit scene one of the best marvel post credit scenes i've seen um i won't say in a while because the shang chi one was pretty solid also uh, i hope you all aren't too upset about my views and my feelings on this movie uh, i want you to know that it is coming from a place of love i wanted to go in and love this movie i wanted i really have love for the venom character i'm not a venom fan so called but i have love for the venom character i do want to see this character done to the best of its ability and done right again the pg-13 rating they said they pushed the pg-13 rating uh to its limits i do not feel like they did that there is a few scenes of course the way you have to do pg-13 it's every time something violent is about to happen on screen you have to cut right there you had to cut and that's it and then it just leaves it up to your mind for interpretation that's how you have to do pg-13 for the most part when you are trying to 
portray to the audience violent and graphic things yet you can't show them because it's a pg-13 movie you see the problem with that this movie should have been rated r guys anyway that's it i'm done with the this movie review i'm done with this rant uh and i'm gonna leave you guys off with that those are my thoughts on this movie let me know your thoughts down in the comment section down below if you don't know why i do here on demi god and i do treat the reaction show reactions movie reactions movie reviews movie news and unboxing videos so if you're interested in any of that you're in the right place man hit subscribe hit the like button show this video some love i drop multiple videos a day on this channel so that you can expect out of me and if you don't already know i am the demi god the chosen one here on demi god ent and i'm out of this thing man i appreciate y'all for watching with me more videos coming soon more movie reviews coming soon stay tuned guys peace